Alright, this is Mind Mage Kanyaragon. The you know, the guy who programmed Seikaiju. So people have been wanting to know how to rig and animate, and while I personally am not a huge fan of the system, I know how to use it and I thought I would teach people because that might be helpful, so I have collected three models that we need to ready for the game anyway. A Amorphous, or a monster without particular shape, like a blob. A humanoid, and a quadruped, a four-legged monster. Because, you know, there's a lot of dragons, so... We have a lot of quadrupeds. So I'll start with the Amorphous, because it's really easy. So I'm gonna start with ungrouping, because that actually makes it a lot easier to... do this. So now, our monster here, this one's not actually going to be touching the floor, so we don't have to worry about legs. Uh, but, oh, sorry, he's gonna be directly on the floor. So we, ha we, we, can, we don't have to worry about legs. We can just put him here like this and he'll be fine. So, we're going to name his parts because we should be doing that. So this is gonna be the head. He's gonna have, um... Uh, actually, I'll make this the... Well, I can have... Make this the torso. I'll clone this. Hide it here. This is the head. Oops, I don't make my head visible so no one sees it because it doesn't matter. This will be. If I can close this up and again. Uh, right eye one. Right eye two. Oh wait, oh, this is, this is the entire eye, so that's the, oh, actually, let's just go I one and I 2 Yeah, always have your parts named so that you know what you're rigging. And of course, you can use unions. Unions are, in fact, very helpful. So, for example, I can actually union all of these parts together. And just call that the jaw. Now, sometimes Roblox will give issues with unions not working. Some of these can be solved uh, with this little plugin I use called, uh, it's like Brute Force uh, CSG by Echo Reaper. should be able to find it in the plugins. And if not, I'll put a link into it, or a link in the description or something. Now, we have all the body parts. We've got a jaw, we've got this head, the torso, and the eyes. But in order to animate, we're going to need a humanoid root part, so we'll just clone the torso here. We'll call that humanoid root part. Now, a lot of people might be concerned with the fact that I've just needed his head and torso. Like, I don't have a fake head and a fake torso, it's just head torso. The reason for this is because in Sekaiju, well, it, we don't use the regular avatar and then paste a model over top of it, we just... This is your character. Instead of there being, uh... This guy being, like, your actual Roblox avatar standing with the body parts like that. It just streamlines the animation system and hitboxes, so you don't... So, like, you don't get your body parts... Your human body parts hit, because that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna group this. And I'll call this Golem Head, I think that's what it, I think that's its model's name. I don't really it doesn't matter, we just gotta remember what you're rigging. So now we're gonna go into our plugin. We're gonna get the custom character creator. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna edit it. So we're gonna bind. So we're going to select our so now one thing we can do is if you're trying to select a certain part, you can click on this part and then click on another part to select where it is selecting the explorer so you know what you're looking at. Now I might have accidentally put this motor on the human group part, that's okay. Uh, recently Roblox made this really easy to fix. I can just change part 1 to that. Now that's going to deactivate the animation there, but that's okay. 
gonna select this again. And the second part is going to be... Okay, this might have just made a joint from the humanoid root part to the humanoid root part. And we're gonna finish. So we're gonna make our part one. Actually, you know, uh, let's not bother with this yet. Uh, um, humanoid root part will move away. Because it's going to be problematic for a bit. In fact, I'm going to make the humanoid root part invisible. Uh, I'll find it later. Okay, so we're going to disable our thing. So we're going to click bind. We're going to click the torso. And we're going to click the eye. We're going to bind again. We're going to click I and click I. The reason for this is so that when this I moves, this moves as well. I don't think this is going to move, but it's just a general convenience thing. And we'll bind the torso and the jaw. And now we can edit. Oh, uh, one of the joints is broken. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to fix this joint, so give me a second. Put this back here. Go to the motor 6D, part 1, we're going to change the torso. Now if we select here, click edit, click edit. It's going to show us all of our beautiful joints. Um, okay, one of them is to the jaw, and i got to find this one. So, hang on a sec. We're going to find the one that's connected to the jaw. We're going to need it so we can find it. So this is our jaw, we gotta find it so that we connect it here. We don't actually have to move the joint positions, it just makes... ...animation editing easier. Because then you don't have to... oh, what? I don't know. Edit, not bind. Uh, this is... Uh, we're gonna change the movement. I'm gonna move this joint to some else so I can grab a different one. Here we go. And we're gonna go there. That's perfect, because now it's perfectly attached. Or I guess it's not perfectly attached, but it, it looks right. And we'll put this joint back. Actually, after we this is where does this one connect? This one connects to the eye. It doesn't really matter. This one's not actually moving. And it's close enough anyway, so we're going to put that back. And I'll say back. And we're done. We're finished rigging. This is, of course, really simple because it's it's just a head. So this is similar to doing a blob. So, now we're going to get the animation editor. Uh, I need to find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh. Oh, right. Uh, you're gonna want to put in a humanoid. Uh, don't forget that when you're animating, it, it's, you're gonna go for hours, uh, not knowing why your rig's not working. And the answer is because you don't have a humanoid. So we're going to say name. It, so oh yeah, and we want name occlusion. Or done. Just do this inside. That's it. Turn off display distance type because uh, we don't have the normal head just appearing. So we're going to select that. Okay. So now we have our model ready. The head's not moving at all, ever. And we're not going to activate our. Whoops. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, so as I said, we're not going to move the head. The head's not going anywhere. Oh, I also forgot to unanchor it. Uh, forgive me. I am forgetting things. Also, make sure all of your parts are unanchored, except for the humanoid root part. That should be anchored. If it's not anchored, something very entertaining will happen. Um, I'm actually gonna... Actually, I'll show you what happens if you unanchor the humanoid root part. It's rather inter It's rather entertaining. So, we're gonna have our idol... We're gonna change... Well... It's got a loop. Um, priority doesn't really matter here because of... that. but I'll make an idle animation. So, we'll s change the length. I'll say it's one second. Okay, so he's... Okay, so what our head's gonna do... We're gonna make him... 
Uh, rotate. Oh, whoops, that's the jaw. Uh. Wait, what? What's this thing? Hmm. Weird. Um, okay. Moon Angry Part is an anchor. Good. It's something weird happened there. Torso. Oh, is the torso on top for some reason? Hang on a sec. Uh, we have a... We have an error here. That's... This is not supposed to happen. Oh, boy. I have to redo this. Um, I'll just rename this to uh, close the animation editor. Yep, okay. Oops, the head has a. Okay, the humanoid root part, for some reason, is not the root. I'm going to say that's because. I actually, I'm frankly, I'm not sure why. It appears that it got a little broke. Now then, we'll close that. Okay, let's try that again. Yes, anchor anchor the report for me. Okay, good. Now the rank now it's right. The hierarchy is right. Uh, I don't know why that it might have glitched out in the middle of the thing when I messed with it. I'm going to unanchor the root part just because it leads to some entertaining shenanigans. So we're gonna select our torso. We're gonna say our step is ten. So we're gonna have the golem head look over there a bit. It's gonna s come back and look over there. Then he's gonna look here. And just, I'll just copy this in. Okay, now this is a pretty simple animation. Then we'll just have him move his jaw a bit. Like he's gonna open his jaw a bit. He's gonna be like that. Take his jaw into the sand a bit. And pull it out again. Oh, y you'll notice that I have interpolation off. I, I tend not to use it because um, it messes with the animation sometimes. So if I have interpolation on, you'll notice it shows it doesn't show the actual keyframes. It shows how it will look like in between. So I keep it off because it helps look my animations look better. And make sure I don't do strange mess ups with the precision I like to have with the editor. And we'll put that open here, and it's already closed there. So now let's see what happens when we play it. Oh, I forgot to set to looping. Yes, loop it. Okay, play. Now, you'll, you'll, you'll notice the grid's jumping around. That's because the humanoid root part is not anchored, so it's also jumping around. And if I were to do something like... If the jaw is... Can't collide, yes it is. So if I were to do something like um, this on the first keyframe where the jaw shoots open with an unanchored humanoid root part, you'd notice it jumps around a bit. Some other interesting results can be uh, like a humanoid might fall over. So generally we speaking, we don't want that, so delete it. And actually the jaw really shouldn't have can collide either. Uh, for simplicity reasons. And so we'll anchor the humanoid root part now to prevent any future shenanigans. So that's actually really it. I've just set up a couple keyframes, and you'll notice now he's got a little nice little animation. It's not necessarily super pretty, but it works.
this nice little idle animation. He's just gonna shake his head and snap at you. I don't know. Maybe golden heads do that in their spare time. Uh, what am I to say about golden heads? I'm a human. So anyway. And so I'm just going to save it. And I'm going to say this is... I could just call this idle or golem head idle. We're going to use that. Save. And we're done. And... But I just saved this. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just saved this. What, what do you talk? Anyway. Yes. So. That's the animation editor. That's for rigging and animating an amorphous creature. So, I'll do another video on a humanoid and a quadruped, so. That's it. So, for now. And, I'll, I guess I'll be signing off. Thank you for watching.